Oh, okay. Second time lucky. Look, Not something. Look how pretty that little area is. Which area? I'd like to that one. I tell you, with the burning, the burning. No, 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 the other one. <laughs> I'd like to take you on a picnic to that area. Uh, Joe, I'd be very, I'd be questioning your location of picnics if you would take me to a place with overturned trucks, burning fires. Listen, man, it was the it was the garden area. It was pretty, but look at this, TB noobs. He's jumping up and down, so he. Like that, that second doesn't go on quicker. So maybe a little bit different stuff, but here we go. We can already see these guys starting to move on up. They have B bomb control. Bomb is going down. And this is what we see a lot of times on this gridlock map, but nobody was watching his ice cream cut. And well, that's what happens. Nobody watching over him. There's a first blood for Project 7. Oh, I'm pushing forward as one goes down. The second will fall as well. Agility is going to find himself in a world of trouble. And interestingly enough, you've seen a lot more Sorg action coming in. Obviously, map and mode dependent, but it is currently a 1v4. And as Noob goes down, Cells will be the one to put the final nail in the coffin. That's going to be round number one for the boys. Uh, again, Project 7 here. And it just starts with that first blood right here. It is as well. Vivid. He's able to find this first player. That's Jade Destiny. That's an easy kill, and he just runs away. Now they have the four versus five advantage. And, well, they're just able to trade on up. Okay, well... As we get into round number two, we're switching those sides. The defense now on the attack, because these guys, if you're new to search and destroy, they're going to flip over each side. Let's stay on board with the sniper, though. We'd love to see it. What we'll be able to rock. Of course, the Mozu deals a lot of damage himself. Yeah, maybe trying to find a first blood on the cells. Nice little shoulder from little cells. Is he going to challenge that? He is going to re-challenge that, just shouldering back and forth. But look at this. They have one or two players towards that B side, and that sort of forced a, a little rotation. Allowed the, the player with the bomb to move on up. That's going to be a turn. This could be a free bomb plant for them. So Project 7 getting all the map control in the world that they want. Bombs you know, down. Vivid already getting set up towards this showers area. And this nifty little mantle spot, and now it's just a 5v5 retake. But what's the difference is that first blood hasn't come in yet like it did last round. But here we go. Vivid able to find the first one on. Again, Jay Destiny not having the best time, but the trades are there. Oh, and finds one, finding the second as well. We are going to see a team kill come down. Now a 2v3. His favorite in Project 7. Once again, Little Cells went down there, but he wasn't out. Will get taken down now. And just a 2v1. You play your life. You play the clock with 15 seconds. This yeah. is looking good for Project 7 once again. Tags up, and that's going to be Evasion coming up with the kill. I like that play from Project 7. So what did they do? They sent a couple of players towards that B site, and what that does is that forced the rotation out of A for the defensive team in Mazer Gaming, which then allowed the teammates of F7 to push in, get the free bomb plant. You have that 5v5 retake with bomb down. Should be pretty easy peasy from there. Should be. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. How will they change things up? Because right now, the Search and Destroy is looking no better than the hard point. However, we had a lot of love for Mesa Gaming. Now they need to turn it up. Yeah, they need some hype in the chat. We'll see if Mesa Gaming can turn this one around. Because it looks like they're going towards this A site. But look at F Project 7. They're starting to push towards that middle. Put a lot of pressure up here. Noobs, though, he's going to find a couple. Able to get some shots in, but has to back on down. Bomb. Looks like it's going down. Oh, it's actually stopped it's there. Actually just stopped it right there. So let's go on board with Destiny. He's got that cluster in his hand. Can he find any kills with that player trying to get out? What a good cluster from him. And now it's a 3v3. Atora actually finds a double himself. Will level the playing field for a second, but it's now a 1v3. All up to Vivid. This is a must-win round for Mazer as the bomb will go down. What does Vivid do? How does he play this one? That's a tough situation, especially with only a Sog. Dylan able to get set up with that Maddox in such a tough spot for him. And Able to find that first one. But it was really that cluster grenade that was able to open things up for Mazer Gaming. And finally, they're able to put a round on the board. A little bit of confidence here going forward. Seeing what they can do. I mean, I, I don't know one. about you, Phil, but I typically play with like my music volume off at home. This stuff is intense. This yeah. can be ready for round number four. Like, I need to know, you know, if, if someone's coming behind me a footstep, I don't need to be jamming in the well, middle of the I, I'm like, getting, I like it. I'm, I'm, I'm about it. Spectating, maybe. And then I can be about it. I need everything I can get to help me in game, as I'm sure these guys too right now. But a uh, bit of a split, as we do see the bomb heading towards A. 
not yeah, a but fast again, push. But... It's the same thing from Project 7. They're sending a couple of players on both sides of the map, and they're just trying to force a rotation. And we'll see it happen. There we go. You see all those blue arrows? It was just a, a couple of players. They react, and now, look, they're going to hit a delayed A hit. So now Evasion, all he's trying to do is stay alive. He's able to do that as he backs on up. And then look at that mini map. You see three players moving into the A site for free. The difference now, though, is Mazer was able to find the first blood. So Bomb's going to go down, and it's going to be a four versus five. Important player is going to be Vivid. And this is where he finds one. Can he take him Ooh. down? No, the double team will prevail as we see the ICR of Evasion take down Vicious. And that might just be it for the retake there. Now a 4v2, perfectly done here. And I think that comes down to once again, that, that first blood, first they had those numbers and they can really afford to, you know, just slide on in as two. And, and uh, they trade things out and actually they only lose Vicious pushing through middle. Yeah, I'm again, I, I love the default strat from Project 7 because what we see from so many teams is as soon as you see one guy, the whole team rotates because they want a five versus five push. Yeah. But what Project 7 is doing is just showing one or two then are rotating to that other bomb site, forcing rotations. But again, they lose that first blood. That allows Mazer to tie this one up. Can they do better? Can they push? the boys back put themselves a map on that series score as well we've already known and we've already seen should i say the maps and modes coming up here of course we've got a couple other teams waiting we've got the likes of phase clan black probably tuning in and watching seeing who they're going up against a great little bit of uh scoping intel as we see uh the trademarks go down what are we gonna see coming in from noobs I'm not exactly sure. He's just lining something up here. Taking his time. There we are. The push is there. Is Vivid able to find one with that cluster? And he gets stunned. The stun's so strong. But one hip, hip fire is able to hit. But just like that, it's a two versus four for Project 7. A bit of a bounce back round from them. But we'll see if Noobs and Vicious can tie this one back up. Vicious just playing the patient game here with the ICR. Nice, nice laser like there. Beams. Lights to see evasion. Oh, but look at this. Look at this play out of noobs. He's on a big flank, but one player looks like he's waiting for it. Oh, it doesn't matter. Able to find li little cells, but just like that, it's a 1v2. A winnable round, but you can see Atura just shouldering back and forth, trying to get information. There's that stun. Concussion's just so tough to deal with. You're stunned forever. And Project 7. Able to take the lead. Nice round coming out of Project 7 there to bounce back. And again, that kind of highlights the damage that a stun can do. It's, they're pretty good in this game. Closing out here as we do see Evasion, the play of the game there. Nice little two piece as he comes, but more importantly, staying alive. Dipping and diving out of that situation. As Project 7 looks to put map number two, we are going to see noobs change over to the Paladin. See, there's nobody standing out too much on either team. Just pretty back and forth game so far. Once again, we have this standoff as noobs and little cells are just going back and forth. Here's that same start from Project 7, but instead they get the first blood. Hollow able to find one with that ICR. But you can see it looks like Mazer is sort of cheating the rotation. Instead, they're going to rotate through A. Now, what is Project 7 going to do? That's the big ticket. Is they're able to find one in a turret to make it a 4v4. You can see mid-map control. Noobs control try, right has now. to try to stay alive. Yeah. He's going to have to try to stay alive. He's uh -oh. not able to do so. And now Bomb going to be playing in a 4v2. As Vivid was able to find one, Cell is able to find Vicious. And Project 7 looking comfortable. Yeah, nice round there. They controlled the middle from the get-go. Obviously, we saw the snipers engage at the start, but they soon swapped over, and we saw those first bloods come in. And Vivid, a huge factor here. And, of course, winning the round. Nicely done as he pushed through the middle there. And again, just kind of not necessarily made all the important plays, but he was the one with all the information. He knew there were people in A. He knew that they couldn't really rotate without him seeing him. And uh, just gives a lot more comfort to his teammates. Noobs has had this Paladin out quite a bit, but really hasn't been able to connect on much. Maybe just using it for, for some information, maybe switching off of it. So he's trying to find a kill. A sneaky little angle, and that's just it. Tries to find a free kill. And then switches to that Maddox. We can see a bit of a standstill right now from both sides. You should see what Project 7 is doing. They're just rotating back and forth. They have one player at each bomb site, and then they sort of have three in the middle. And those three players are just ready to rotate. 
but it looks like Little Cell starting to push up middle. What information can he find? This is just like last round where his teammate was able to find all that information. Plus, Vivid, Vivid the Warrior very close towards that war machine. Yeah, I was looking at Tora as well. If this goes in favor of Project 7 and Tora does anything in this round, he's going to be able to kick off round number 8 with that crash boost as well, of course, given a, a very, very large advantage here. However, on the flip side of things, Noob's not too far away from it himself. Going back in two with the double stock equipped here. Personal favorite of myself as well. And that Sorg gives that little bit of extra movement. We are going to see Vicious down to 15 health there. He's going to regenerate with that stim shot. And now back in the action. Here we go. Yeah, you can see Project 7 starting to pinch on both sides. They go through a big flank, but Destiny and Vicious able to do so well on the other side. And there we go. They clean it out up. They stay alive in this game. Nicely done there. And Vicious, of course, a big part in that. Picking up two near the end, of course, closes. The gap here, 4-3 to three now, of course, a, a crucial round. You know, we talk about it a lot, but going down 5-2 there might have been too much of an ask. Apollo did find uh, one before going down. He found a couple. Good job by him staying alive, but his teammates didn't get his trades. Now 4-3 to three in favor of Project 7. All right, Vivid the Warrior, he does have War Machine. Same with Destiny, so we'll see who will... Really use that because this is what changes the game. These specialist uses. And who's ready for it? Who has flat jacket equipped? Yeah. There we go. There's that attack five boost. And instantly pulls out that war machine. They both do. Is Destiny able to find one? And that's the other player with the war machine. And you can see the members of Project 7 just try to get out alive. Yeah. And they're trying to obviously save the crash boost as well. That attack five boost that gives them that extra 50 HP. If you guys just tuning in as well, this is the CWL 2000 series, 2K series, as it will be referred to here. Some of the amateurs playing alongside their teammates trying to get as many pro points as possible, as much practice as possible. This could be huge. Oh my goodness. The three players right around the corner. The war machine is going to run out, run out there as evasion and hollow maybe escape with a little bit of their life, but it's only going to come down to a Toro in a 1v4. And that's a huge round four Mazer, right? Because you had the attack five boost that was used uh, by Project 7. You had the war machine that was used by Project 7. So now you have a specialist lead if you are Mazer. So a big round win out of them. A lot of Mazer fans, obviously, before the series, but it is looking like a very, very strong start here for Project 7. It is now all tied up four to four. A couple rounds on the bounce here for Mazer. This could be the change in momentum that they need. Uh, again, more specialists available. And there is going to be the TAC-5 boost coming in for Mazer Gaming. Tempest pulled out by Vicious. We saw how strong this was at Vegas. Guys like Clayser, guys like Dashy, able to change the game. He's able to chain one. Destiny able to clean that up. And this is going to be a very fast game or fast round for Mazer Gaming. Is just the specialist comes through. And this is the power of the Tempest as he was able to really just chain two. His teammates able to clean it up now four versus two. Yeah, the bomb goes down as well. Little Cells actually shoots one in the back, which uh, probably very frustrating here for agility. But nevertheless, it should be a round secured. As Little Cells does go down, it is all up to Atora once again. He's not going to be able to find anything now. 5-4. Mesa Gaming back in it. Takes the lead here. Can they tie the series? It's their first lead as well. They've been down by two the entire game. They were down 2-0, then 4-2. And it looked like Project 7 was about to run away with it, but a couple of big specialist plays out of Mazer towards the end of this game. Now put them one round away from tying the series up 1-1. One one. On the side of Project 7, though, you still have a, a lot of specialists to use. Dylan might invest this Annihilator this round. Try to secure it. But we shall see as it looks like Project 7 starting to move towards this A site. Vicious looks like he did spot it. Now just going to back it up. Supreme Agility able to find one. That's a huge first blood. We know how important they've been in this game so far. And there we go. I was just going to say, you know what takes care of first bloods is, the, is that specialist. He's able to chain one. Nice stun from his teammate as well. Trying to find that player. Instead finds a different one. Able to find a kill. Make it two with the chain. Ooh. But Dylan with the Annihilator able to take him down. We know how strong this can be. One bullet, one kill. There we go. See you all later. And Mazer Gaming able to take this one six to four. Nicely done there. A great retake. The Tempest, of course, coming into the action, but it wasn't matched. Uh, we saw it. Very influential on the previous round. This time we saw it pick up a couple of kills, of course, but the Annihilator, of course, coming 
into the game and shutting things down here. 6-4 victory, and again, the maze of gaming guys were, uh, were in the chat. Maybe they knew something, obviously, about the game mode itself, Search to Destroy. Could be where they really turn up. Yeah, it was really just that first kill that we just saw in this play of the game by Dylan as he found that Annihilator shot onto the Tempest player. If that Tempest player is able to stay up, maybe find one or more, one or two, we're going to around 11. Instead, pulls out the Annihilator, able to close, close the round out. A great game for Mazer.